Hello, I am Keith McClanahan, Chair of the Board of Trustees at Trinity Heights United Methodist Church. In our previous video for the capital campaign, we showed you some changes we have completed at the church during the last year. Today, take a look at some of the projects we want to accomplish with funds raised in the capital campaign. Tim, our resident architect, will start us off. Let's talk windows. The windows in the west end of the building are 50 years old. They're single pane, they're missing screens, non-functional. The window sills are rotting, they show extreme wear, and they've certainly exceeded their lifespan. All these windows on the second floor of the south face are going to be replaced with modern double-paned casement windows to match others we've already replaced. In addition, we'll be residing the entire south face of the second floor. In case you were wondering what casement windows were, it looks like this. As you can see, the windows can be opened on the sides and the middle of the unit is a big solid pane. All of the new windows will match this style in the remodel. As you know, I spend a lot of time cooking at the church. One of the biggest issues in using the large kitchen here is how hot it gets when cooking any time of the year. It can reach over 90 degrees in here without a functioning air conditioner. Having the kitchen AC is essential. Our solution is to replace a broken four-ton AC with a new four-ton AC and a smaller three-ton AC for the reserve when the heat load is too much. After the AC, some of our other big appliances need fixed. The freezer is now due to be replaced after 15 years. Our walk-in refrigerator needs its cooling system to be upgraded with modern refrigerant. Bob Marsh has spent countless hours fixing the Hobart dishwasher over the last 10 years. It's time to be replaced. We have been blessed by your support of Trinity Heights Night Dinners through the past year, and we have set aside the money to address these kitchen repairs. Thank you for your support for our dinners. We have one more stop inside Celebration Hall. You're aware that our carpet here in Celebration Hall has seen better days. It's past time to get new carpet here. This replacement will also include the music room, the narthex, and the hallways in the east wing of the building. We also plan to reupholster all the chairs on the property. They have faithfully served us for decades. When it comes to building renovations, often the focus is on the interior and the exterior of the building. But one project that needs attention is resealing the asphalt in the parking lots. As you can see, there are cracks in the asphalt as well as vegetation, which is sprouting up through these cracks. Now that you have seen some of the first projects we want to tackle, I want to provide an update regarding the capital campaign. During the past three weeks, church leadership has pledged $80,000 towards our $300,000 goal. This upcoming week, we will be mailing out to the congregation capital campaign pledge cards and materials for you to read and pray over as you decide to support our ongoing renovation of the church. Thank you for watching our second capital campaign video and look forward to our other videos to come.